Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. The Witch's Dog and the Magic Cake. Will, the Witch's Dog, had been out for a walk. Hello, Will, said Weenie. I've just baked a cake for my Auntie Flo, who lives in the jungle. Weenie had turned her aunt into a gorilla by mistake, but her aunt loved being a gorilla. This cake is for her birthday she said. The cake smelled delicious. Did you use magic to bake it, Weenie? asked Will. Certainly not, said Weenie. I never use magic to bake. Do you think I could bake a cake? said Will. Of course, replied Weenie. I'll show you how. Weenie showed Will how to mix the sugar, butter, eggs and flour. But Will's cake mixture was a bit lumpy. And very sticky. He got more on himself than he got in the tin. Weenie put the cake in the oven. But when it came out, it was flat. It didn't rise, groaned Will. Never mind, said Weenie. Better luck next time. Weenie packed her cake into her rucksack and got onto her broomstick. Time for me to visit Auntie Flo now, she said. I won't be long. Bye. Zoom! She shot into the sky, just as Will's friends Bertie, Harry and Streaky arrived. Mmm, that's a nice smell in the kitchen, they said. It's coming from this funny flat cake, said Bertie. I made it, said Will, and flat or not, I'm sure it will taste nice. He fetched some lemonade. So, let's have a picnic in the garden, he said. They had just sat down on the grass when Sly Cat and Tricky Toad looked over the gate. They were jealous of Will because he was top of the class at the School of Spells. <laughs> Fat cakes look a bit small and flat, sneered Sly. He winked at Tricky. I bet we can make it rise, he said. Sly and Tricky pointed their fingers and cast a spell. Flash! The cake started to rise into the air. We told you we could do it, Will, cried Sly and Tricky, and they left snorting with laughter. Wilf and his friends stared. The cake was getting bigger and bigger. Suddenly it floated across the grass and knocked over the gate. The cake sailed down the lane and knocked over a lamppost. Wilf, Bertie, Harry and Streaky chased after it. But the magic cake rose into the sky. Oh no, cried Wilf. It might bump into a plane. Use your magic, Wilf, cried Bertie. Bring it back. Will sent out a return ticket spell, but it didn't work. Sly and Tricky's magic was too strong. The cake flew on. What now? yelled Harry. That thing is out of control, gasped Streaky. I've got an idea, cried Will. He grabbed the clothesline and used a flying spell. Slowly, he lifted off the ground and flew into the sky. He landed on top of the magic cake and tied one end of the rope to it. Then he flew back down to the garden, tugging the cake behind him. Quickly, he tied the other end of the rope to the clothes pole. The cake bobbed in the sky like a huge party balloon. Now what? asked Bertie. I'll have to fetch Weenie, said Will. She'll know what to do. But how will you get to the jungle without a broomstick? asked Harry. It's a long way. I'll make a broomstick, said Will. Come on, give me a hand. He and his friends picked up lots of fallen twigs and Will tied them to a long branch. All I have to do is make it magic, said Will. He propped the broomstick against the front door. Then, shutting his eyes, he cast a spell. Flash! The broomstick fell apart. Will groaned. Now what will I do? He said. You can fly on me, said a voice. Who said that? chorused Harry, Bertie and Streaky. I did, said Weenie's door. It waved its handle at Will. You missed the broomstick and made me magic instead. The door floated down the steps. Hop on, Will, it said. We're off to the jungle. Will climbed aboard. I'll be back as soon as I can, he said to his friends, and zoom! The door shot into the air. It raced through the sky and out over the sea. In no time at all, Will saw the jungle down below. The door swooped down and flew over the treetops. How will we ever find Weenie, said Will. 
It's, lo- it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Perhaps we should ask someone, said the door. Suddenly, Will gasped and pointed. Look, he cried. A baby monkey's fallen out of a tree. Quick, door, he yelled. Down, fast. Hold on, he cried. Here we go. The door streaked downwards. Will caught the baby monkey just in time. Oh, thank you, cried its mother. How can I ever repair you? Will thought. Do you know a gorilla called Flo? He asked. Of course, she said. I know all the gorillas. She's just over there, through the trees. Weenie and Flo had just finished off Flo's birthday cake when Wilf arrived. They were surprised to see him. Quickly, Wilf told Weenie what had happened. Weenie got onto her broomstick. See you soon, Auntie Flo, she called. Let's go, Wilf. Zoom! Wilf and Weenie shot into the sky and headed home. At Weenie's house, Sly and Tricky had come back and were up to more mischief. They put a spell on the clothesline and made it vanish. Oh no, the cake is loose, cried Streaky. It's heading for that plane, gasped Bertie. Help, cried Harry. The pilot said, it's a UFO, he cried. We're going to crash. Just then, Wilf and Weenie arrived. Weenie cast a spell on the cake and down it went in a hundred pieces. Hooray! yelled Bertie, Harry and Streaky. Sly and Tricky looked up. Too late! Splotch! The cake shower dropped on top of them. Serves them right, said Weenie as she and Wilf landed. We always thought they'd come to a sticky end, laughed Wilf's friends. Sly and Tricky slunk off to have a bath. Will thanked the magic door and everyone went into the kitchen. We still haven't had our picnic, said Will. So he baked another cake and this time it was perfect. If at first you don't succeed, grinned Will. Weenie, Harry, Bertie and Streaky didn't reply. Their mouths were too full of Will's delicious cake. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you want to stay up to date on all my videos, just click on the big red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Bye for now.